Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box of the Technical Trader. It's Thursday night, April the 7th. These are the charts of the day. I decided to hold off on the box of charts until this weekend. I don't think there's really a rush, but we'll see. But I'm going to do some further research and um, maybe add a few stocks to the list before we go over them. In any case, there's still quite a few stocks to talk about on the upside. We played, traded the rare earths today, did very well with them. Let's take a look at Avalon for starters. Avalon, um, which a couple days ago broke out and pulled back very gently here on lower volume. Today popped again on 13.6 million, up 83 cents or 9.5%. And um, got up to 9.73. My target was 9.75, but I think the stock now is destined for a move up towards 11 short term. Up next is DBLE. Now, Double Eagle Petroleum, we've been watching, had the big run up in January, February from the wedge and then broke out, but then rolled over. Held near the moving averages and then um, moved up and backed off very quietly in the last week or so, forming a wedge. Today it popped out with, for 210, 23%, over a million shares traded. That's big volume for that stock and it appears it's well on its way to test the $13 range. Swing trade ELN continues to surge and has done very well in the last three sessions in particular, moving from 6, uh, 55, 60 area up to almost 8. Um, that my target around the uh, 8 20 25 area, 8 15 25 area, may be reached as quickly as tomorrow. Beyond that, we'll have to keep take another look at it, but it sure looks like it uh, has strong enough momentum and big enough volume to even make it up towards 8.5 or 9. EXPR had a big day today, jumping $1.41 or 7.3% on 12.3438 million. Big volume for that stock. As a matter of fact, it's the biggest volume that we can find since it went public several a couple years ago. And um, with the key breakout last week, a retest, and then another explosion, explosive move this week, I can see the stock in the low 20s, maybe up towards 22 and a half, 23 short term. I wanted to point out that Georgia Gulf, a stock that we put out as a swing trade here in December at around the 23 range, has now reached 38 and a half and continues to move up in a beautiful rising channel. My intermediate target around the 44.5 zone may be reached um, but the, but the top of the channel right here around the 40 range is my immediate short-term target. Harry Winston Diamond had a little rest resting day today, but it was still up 16 cents and continues to move nicely after we issued our swing trade right here. We got a day or so of pullback after that, but then it started to move and ran from 14 to about 18, reaching my short-term swing trade target. And at this point, my secondary target and my next objective would be up around 21. IMGN with a monster day today, gapped up to 9.61, ran to 12.03 before closing at 11.80, still up 250, 27%, on the biggest volume since October of, of 5.38 million shares, but a clean breakout through one, two levels of resistance, with, a sec with another level just above here, but eventually my target here looks like 15 may be doable, that's my swing trade target for IMGN. Big day today for KEYN, breaking out of a two and a half month coiling pattern, Popping 244, 13.3% on the biggest volume in a couple, two and a half months. Looks to me like more upside may be had. 23.4 range is my short term target. Up next is MCP. We had a big day with that one today, buying it near the opening around 63.5 and running it up to 68.79 at one point, closing just pennies off the high, up 639, 14.2 million shares, up 10%. And at this point, well, having redrawn the channel, looks to me like something in the high. Uh, the, let's call it the mid to high 80s is my target, about 20 more points on Molly Corp. That's an intermediate target, short-term target, 75. Um, OCZ, big day today in that the volume today of 4 million shares was the heaviest volume since it went public about a year and a half ago. And you can see the rising channel in force. We broke out across key lateral price resistance today, taking out the 9, 9 and a quarter range, closing at 9.42, up 63 cents or 7%. But with that kind of volume and the breakout uh, with no overhead resistance, it appears that this thing could run. And I'm looking for a short-term target at 12 and a half, secondary target at 14 and a half, 15. Another rare earth stock that did well for us was Re today. Jumping from 1337 to 1546, closing at 1530 up 216 on 17 million shares up 16 and a half percent. Big day for that stock. The biggest volume since the very beginning of January. At this point, a retest of the highs in the 17, 17 and a half range may take place, and that's a short-term target. SCON had a big day today, popping out of the wedge pattern it had formed. And you'll see the big run-up in January, February here, the coil, or the uh, wedge, I should say, right here. 
That was followed by a one-day breakout, a pullback that held the intraday, I mean, held the 50-day moving averages, created a new trend line. And then its declining top line here formed the wedge, which it broke out of today. Jumping 55 cents or 18% on two, two and a quarter million. That's the heaviest volume in four weeks. With, with technical surging, I mean, I'm looking for a test and take out of the $4 range. Secondary target, five and a half. Let's move to TPC group, TPCG, which was on our top 20 for many months, but languished for the last several months. And then suddenly surged this week from 28 and a half to 37 and a half, nine points in four sessions. Today jumping 411 or 12 and a half percent on the heaviest volume since the end of November. The way the channel's drawn, I'm looking for a move to 45 in a stock in immediate term, short term 40. And lastly for today is VHC, which continues to just have phenomenal relative strength in the last two weeks, having moved from 12 and a half, 13 range up to um, as high as 28.89 yesterday. Now it pulled back down towards 24 and a half, held that this morning, and then spiked back up again, reversing from 24.73 to 27.56 today, nearly $3. Net net up a dollar thirty seven or five percent, but the volume maintained a pretty steady level. Now I would, if you're holding it long, I would say hold it for a move up into the low thirties, but be careful as anything below the twenty four and a half level should be stopped. And that's it for tonight and this week. Have a good weekend. We'll talk to you Monday.